One, two, three. Uh-huh. This is where we walk in. Let's see, by now you better feel it. All you want is an opportunity to win, to compete, to dominate. And darn it, I'm going to give you that. Uh, Shiloh, your dad said that uh, college coaching was kind of a late life detour for him, kind of unexpected. What did you think when you realized that was going to become a reality, and why did you want to be a part of uh, this program? Well, for us, it's been a reality, you know, our whole lives. Me and Shador have always played on the same team. I used to play quarterback, he used to play like running back and stuff like that, but he's been our coach for a long time ever since we started football. So for us, it's just nothing really that special. Like we, we've been winning since we were younger. He's always been able to recruit. He's always been able to get good players and uh, just be a good leader for us and bring a winning culture to whatever team we've been on since we was five and six years old, you know. Show Brian how football will do the camera. Uh, you've had you know quite the journey through college so far, South Carolina, Jackson State, now here. Uh, what's the process been like for you transitioning to Colorado? I feel like everything I've been through, like coming from South Carolina, moving to safety, that was really my time to learn defense and concepts. And uh, I think the coaching staff there, who taught me, you know, the basics of playing safety, I took that to Jackson State. You know, got my swag down there, and here I'm gonna just put everything together. Shout out to Jake Schwann at CNBR. What's it like playing for Coach Kelly? And Coach Kelly is just like the perfect guy to play for. He's coached guys that have achieved my goals year after year. So playing for a guy like that, having him in the room coaching me, he knows how to do everything the right way. He knows what it takes to go first round, second round, early to be the best at your position. So, I mean, I could ask for a better coach than Coach Kelly. And shout out to Ryan coming from DMBR. Um, I'm curious what it means to you to be a dog, and is that something you pride yourself upon? Oh, definitely. You know, I like leading by example. I'm not really a guy that tries to try to be someone that's not me. When we get on the field and put the pads on, then it's a it's a whole different shallow. You know, off the field I just be cool, just chilling. But on the field, it's it's different. And uh, the guys on the team like that. We all, I feel like this group of guys we got now, like we got some real dogs. And when we gel together, like we start to gel together right now, is definitely something special. We bring an intensity that I don't think I don't think has been seen before here. So we really just going to tee up in all words, just going to tee up. Who are the, who are the real dogs you're talking about? And so many. It's just the culture we got. It starts with Coach Prime, you know, and then we just got good coaches that um, teach us where to channel that energy, you know. So I feel like. We've got a lot of them, for sure. Hi, Shadow. Uh, you haven't seen sports before. Your brother has had the opportunity to work with um, the NFL guys. I'm curious, have you had that same opportunity? And if so, who have you worked with? you got to look at my coaches. i got to go to Dennis Thurman. You know, he coached Coach Prime back in the day. And, you know, he's been a mentor to a lot of guys in, um, in the NFL. Even my own dad, he coached Ed Reed. So just having a guy like that just in the building, you know, is a blessing. You know, we have uh, Coach Prime, of course, and, uh, you know, one of the greatest DBs. Coach Kelly that knows exactly what you need to do to go achieve whatever goal you want on defense. So, I mean, that's what I like. I don't have to work with, you know, it's cool, like, having access to a lot of the players in the league that's already doing what you want to do. But if you want to do things right, the right way, you just have to listen to your coaches here because we got all that in house. Hi, Shiloh. I'm just playing your 24/7 sports. We've seen you playing closer to the line of scrimmage here preseason. Is that where you're most comfortable? Where where do your strengths really shine through the best? So right now we play right and left, so we both can um, we both can um, know the scheme like evenly. So we haven't started playing free or strong, but. I'm, I like being a rangy guy. I like running that alley, you know, playing that wood. You know what I'm saying? So that's really my game. I could buzz down, play the box too, but I like I like getting that ball and, and being rangy too. But I want to be I want to be a guy that does it all. I want to be a good blister, you know. I want to just contribute everything to this team this year. Uh, we talked to Coach Kelly in Vegas, and he said that he's coaching you like a draftable NFL safety. 
Do you feel that difference, and what kind of situation is he putting you in? Like, for Coach Kelly, he's like, he's young. He's, he's only about 55, but he's like the, the godfather of defense. Like, whatever he says, if you just do what he says, he's going to put you in the right position. The defense is going to do the work for you. You just have to do your job. You're going to you're gonna get in uh, situations to where if you just do your job, the call that he makes as a coordinator is going to put you in the right position. So that's really what I just focus on the most. Shiloh, it's Sean Keeler of the Denver Post. Good morning. And, and two quickies. First, uh, are you still the favorite kid screensaver on Dad's phone? You know, he changes it. <laughs> but whatever it is on his phone, I'm still the number one son. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes he has me on there. Sometimes he has Shador on there. I've yet to see one of my sisters on there, though. So is there a criteria for that? That wasn't my phone, but I was curious. Uh, I don't know. It's like whoever... He has different moves, but sometimes whoever makes him the happiest that week is the screensaver. But usually it's me, I think. But there's two different ones. There's the front screensaver and there's one when you don't like the phone. So sometimes I get to catch, you know, who's on there, and then I tell the whole family, you know. But it's been me. It's been me for, for a while now. That's, that's saying a lot for what we get to know what you're doing. Speaking of your dad, this was my follow -up. You know, we get to see a lot of what you want us to see in your lives, and it has been for you for a long time, I imagine. How is your dad, and how are you guys able to kind of delineate the brand and the showbiz and the YouTube channels and all that with getting down to, we got TCU, we got football, and we got work to do, and he would have his job if we also were really good at Jackson doing what he does professionally. How, do you, how does your dad separate prime time from Coach Sanders, who's here to win games? Well, number one thing he always tells us, it starts with, uh, you got to ball, in his words. You got to ball first, all the deals, all the other stuff, that's just what comes with it. Uh, you could be chasing clout, trying to get deals and stuff, but you're going to make way more money doing your job than balling out this season, you know, with that contract. So, for us, when we're locked in, we're locked in. Like, I don't really even post much whenever I'm in camp, like right now, like my whole day is just focused on football. You know, I I be having I be posting stuff on YouTube sometimes, but recently I don't got time. So we really just be locked in on football first. And uh, my older brother just captures whatever whatever we do. He has uh, some of our friends be out there uh, filming and stuff also to just capture. That's just so we can keep y'all updated on what we got going on. Cause we got a lot of doubters. I don't know why. But uh, we 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 not we don't have a hundred dollar mindset, you know. That's that's how we're coming. So I'm not thinking uh, we need to we need to um, prove a lot. We just need to go out there and do what we do. All right, two more, brother Jack. Hey Shiloh, uh, Jack Harlow with the Buffalo's Wire. Jack Harlow. Um, <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's it. laughs> not Harlow. Not Harlow. <laughs> I get that a lot though. Um, well, Cam on some Craig, another Jackson State transfer who came with you. I'm um, just curious, what can we expect from him this year? And what's your relationship like with him? Man, everybody gonna be making plays this season, especially with the stage we got. You know, everybody's gonna be watching. We all, we all ready. My, my dad, for the prime, he, he, he's saying we coming. We here now, so we ready to go. What's up? Be shy, we'll love Pat Graham, associate for us. I guess. Uh, when you arrived, it was after, you know, a lot of up on the roster. I guess, does that make it easier for you to come in, or is it harder as a leader, as just someone who came in with all the roster turned over? Well, uh, just coming in with a whole new roster, it's actually good. Because it's like really just, um, really a fair shot to be on the same level. You know, all you have to do is go in and learn what to do. Like say if you were on a team where um, they already had guys, you know, go crazy the year before, and it's like it's gonna be a little bit harder to get in there and do your thing. But I just been focusing on just getting my playbook, meeting with all the GAs, and making sure that I could be a leader of the defense on the field, making the calls the right way, getting guys lined up, you know, so we could run the defense. Coach Kelly says in the right way.